key concepts to understanding an association are internal and external, and reference and referent. So let's go over those. Internal versus external. Internal and external to what, you might ask? And the answer is internal or external to your system, to the information system that you're creating. So if it's internal to your system, then you're associating one item in your system to another item in your system. If it's external, if it's an external association, then you're associating an, uh, an item in your information system to something external, say a web page or maybe some journal article or could be really anything that it's associated with. Maybe you have a television show. Anything that you want, but it's outside of your system. So one thing should immediately come to mind when I say internal versus external, which is you control the internal ones, but you don't control the external ones. You're aware of when an internal one, or you could be aware of when an internal one changes, but you were never really going to be aware when an external one changes. The other thing that should come to your mind is that when it's internal, you know pretty much everything about it and you're only going to need one thing in order to forge the link between the item that's pointing and the item that's pointed to and that's the ID of the item. All items carry an ID because we need to uniquely identify those items and if I want to forge a link really all I need is the ID of the item that I'm forging the link to, that I'm forging the association with and that should be enough later on to form whatever kind of link I want to make. I can make a print link, I can make an online link, whatever I want, the ID should be sufficient to do that. However, if it's an external link, I'm going to need some absolute location, some absolute path to that thing. Even if the path is verbose and imprecise, like for example the path to a television show, what would you imagine the path to a television show? Well, you can say the, the name of the series of the television show, you can say the episode, the date it aired, maybe what, what, who the producer was. You want to supply enough information so that the user could get back to that television show. And maybe you're lucky enough that that television show and the episode you're <coughs> excuse me, the episode you're talking about has a web page, and if, that, if that's the case, maybe you can use a URL for it. But the point is that if it's external, you're going to have to be able to locate it no matter where the user happens to be. But if it's internal, it'll be another item in your system, and presumably it'll be a lot easier to manage associational links to it. So that's internal versus external. Internal to your system, you only really need an ID to identify the item that's being pointed to. External to your system, you're going to need some form of, a, of an absolute path in order to get the user reliably to the thing that you're pointing to. So that's internal versus external. Now, reference versus referent. The reference is a pointer. It's something that points. It's a you might think of it, and I, I hesitate to use this example because it's the one that'll probably stick in your mind, but it's like the hot text of an HTML link. It's the pointer. It's a reference. The referent is the thing that's being pointed to. And in HTML language, that's the thing that goes in the href uh, attribute. It's some form of a URL. So the reference is what's doing the pointing, and the referent is the item that's being pointed to. Now, I, you know, I would like you to think in terms of items pointing to other items, but of course in the real world, a lot of times it's web pages pointing to other web pages, and not all web pages are items, as, um, as you can find from, uh, from the, the discussion that I have on web pages versus uh, information items. So we have reference, and the reference is some pointer. The pointer can be a text string, the pointer can be an image, in fact the pointer can be anything that communicates um, that communicates the fact that it is pointing to a referent. The referent is the thing being pointed to. Um, as I mentioned earlier, the referent, if, you're, uh, ha if you have an internal link, the referent is really just the ID of the item that you want to point to. So all you need is the item, and the item is the refer the excuse me, all you need is the ID, and the ID is the referent. Whereas if you're making an external link, that referent is going to be some form of full path. Now that's what's going on inside the structure of the information. In the structure of the information we have a reference, which is the thing that's doing the pointing, and we have a referent, which is some, some uh, location for the thing being pointed to. So that's all you need to know about the structure of the information, but now let's turn to the rendering of the information. When I say the rendering of the information, I mean, for example, the web page or the printed page that's created when you render an item. So I render a movie item and I want to link that movie item to other movie items and I render it on a web page. So what are my associations going to be? 
pretty clearly they're going to be HTML links. And pretty clearly the hot thing that you click on is going to be the reference and the URL that it goes to is going to be the referent. Now let's say you have an internal, uh, an internal association and in your information structure you've captured the ID of the item you want to point to. Somehow you have to turn that ID in the information structure into a URL in the representation of the web page. And so we'll talk later about the mechanics of doing that, but I want, to, I want to cue you into the idea that you're going to have to make that transition. That ID is going to have to become a URL when you render it as a web page. On the other hand, suppose you're taking, the, you're taking the same information and rendering it on a print page. What would you render about, what would you render that would give the location on a print page? Well, you, you could put out the same reference, and that reference might say, you know, for more information about this topic, see, and then what would you output? Probably you would output the title of the item and then some way of locating that item. So you might say, you might be in the, in the uh, movie item for uh, Cool Hand Luke and you might have links to other Paul Newman movies and when you, uh, when you see that in print, you see for more information about Newman movies, see other movies, color of money, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so that's the con those are the concepts you need to know in order to really get behind the idea of an association, whether it's an internal or an external association, and whether it's uh, and 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 that it must have a reference, the pointer, and a referent, the thing that's pointed to. The rest really is mechanics, and the mechanics can be pretty difficult, but the concepts really aren't that difficult.